So here's some more information on Church Center. So Church Center is an app provided by a company called Planning Center that is a church database software company. And it's something they provide to our church for free because we use a couple of the other pieces of their software. And because it's free, we're able to put as many people in as we want, but they also value privacy. And I said this earlier in another video, but they really do value privacy. What do I mean by that? They let us choose, us the user, so like if I'm using my account, they let me choose what I wish to share. So if I don't want to share my birthday, because to me birthdays aren't really that important, I can choose not to share my birthday. But if I wish to share my anniversary, which I think is an amazing date, very important to know, it's June 20th. It lets me share that. It also lets me share my phone number, my address, uh, any kids in my house, as well as my wife in my house, and shows my whole household. It lets me do all of that. But if I choose to opt out, I can opt out of all that and not be shown in that directory as well. Only the people that choose to be part of the directory are going to be actually shown in the directory. And you have to actually choose to be part of that by clicking on some things. <clears throat> Another question that often comes up when it comes to church center is why does it require me to log in and I have to wait for a text? That's because they want to protect our information and also protect your guys' information from getting caught by spammers or other people who might sell our information. It doesn't let just anybody sign up. And if we don't have your phone number or don't have your email address, then you need to contact us so we can have your phone number and email address to ensure that we can get you guys in. If we don't have those two things, it doesn't let you in. That's a privacy that they have in place. It's not something that we can change. It's not a setting that we can change. It's not a setting that we can bypass. And the reason why is to protect your guys' information from spammers callers and other people who might sell your information. Another great resource that this is going to provide is the ability for us to share the information to everybody at once without having to contact anybody because we can edit our own information. If I move, I can change my address. If I get a new phone number that's no longer a Lincoln, Nebraska phone number, I can change that. Uh, if my son gets a new phone number or my wife gets a new phone number or whatever that might be, we can change that information in there. If I decide I'm no longer born on March 1st, I can mess that up and change that in there as well. Why do we need this? We want to prov provide a resource that you guys can access anywhere you are that you have internet access. Whether it be on your phone, your phone mobile browser, or a computer, you can access this Church Center app and be able to access our information. Lastly is if you see someone that's not or if you don't see someone that's in the directory, there's probably two reasons for that. So if you see the directory and you're going through it and you see someone that you think should be in there but it's not in there, you can call us and tell us about it, but we can't change that setting. That's something that each individual person gets to do. We don't get that option. We can't just force everybody to be part of this directory. It's an option and a choice. And so if you see someone who's not in there, there's probably one of two reasons. Reason number one, they have signed in and didn't enable the fact that they want to be seen or just haven't gotten that far. Two, they haven't signed in and don't wish to be seen. Now there's sometimes a third option which they haven't signed in and they do wish to be seen, but we're not able to enable that. And we love this feature because of the privacy features that they want to ensure we can't force anybody to be shown in the directory. It's up to each individual person. We would gladly help people walk through it and get them at least enabled in there, but we absolutely cannot force anybody to be part of this online directory. The other, one other quick tidbit information on Church Center, Church Center as a whole as an app is more than just the online directory. Uh, a little bit later on this year, we're gonna be releasing it for check-in for Little Kids Bible School, as well as Wednesday nights. It's going to be something that's really, really neat. It's going to help us out a whole lot. Hey, if you need help with this in any way, shape, or form, I'm going to be around. My name's Augie. I'm the youth associate pastor. If you guys haven't met me, hello. Uh, I would love to help you with this. This is something I've been working on all summer to really try to get some tools of information into your guys' hands. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.